Hi guys, it's Miss Katie here to read you a story from the Bible. I'm going to read you the story about Joseph today. So Joseph's father's name was Jacob, and Jacob had a huge family. He had 12 sons. Do you see them all here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, Jacob loved Joseph more than his other sons, and he gave Joseph a wonderful coat. See all of its colors? It's so nice. How do you think that made his brothers feel, though? Pretty jealous. I dreamt that we were in the fields at harvest time, Joseph told his brothers one day. Your bundles of grain bowed down to mine. Well, Joseph's brothers were very cross. So you think we should bow down to you, they said? They were not very happy. The brothers plotted against Joseph. They threw him down a dry well. Then they sold him to traders. But his brothers told old Jacob, Joseph has been killed by a wild animal. That is not nice at all. And his poor dad is so sad. The traders took Joseph to the far off land of Egypt. There they sold him to work for a rich man. One day, Joseph was suddenly thrown into prison, even though he had done nothing wrong, which isn't fair. That's not fair at all. In prison, Joseph helped people by telling them what their dreams meant. One night, Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, dreamt about seven fat cows, and then seven skinny cows came and swallowed them up. It's a crazy sounding dream, isn't it? Next, he dreamt of seven fat ears of grain. Seven thin ears came and gobbled them up. The pharaoh couldn't sleep. He didn't like his dreams. What could they mean? They're strange sounding to me. Then pharaoh heard that Joseph was an expert with dreams, so he called him to his palace. There will be seven years without rain, Joseph explained. There won't be enough to eat. Pharaoh was pleased with Joseph. He put him in charge of Egypt. Joseph stored up food so that there was always enough to eat. And Joseph brought his father and brothers to Egypt so they had enough to eat too. Wasn't that kind of Joseph to forgive his brothers even though they had been so mean to him and plotted against him? It just shows us that uh, even when people do things to us that are mean and unfair, we can still find it in our hearts to forgive them. I hope you guys have a great day and you enjoyed the story. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.